What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, the most underrated player for the Chicago Bulls this season in Javante Green. Now at the end of the day, he's had a massive leap up from his statistics from last season, obviously two years ago, and this season. And it's been an outstanding story when it comes to Javante Green, just the certain things that he's done with the Chicago Bulls team that just elevates him a level of above what he was in the previous years and I want to talk about his season for the Chicago Bulls this year but before we get started please like and subscribe to the Bulls show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Javante Green and the season that he has had for the Chicago Bulls this year was it a successful one was it a one that could have improved a little bit more the overall thoughts and opinions on Javante Green now the reason why I call him the most underrated player for the Chicago Bulls is again his massive leap up from last year to this year. I feel like he's that type of player where if you're not a Chicago Bulls fan, you don't know that much about Javante Green. Obviously, if you're a Boston fan, you'd know about him because he played for the Boston Celtics as well. But outside of those two teams together, it, you probably haven't heard that much of Javante Green around the league. And at the end of the day, he's come out, had a very good year, played a position where he was extremely undersized and managed to hold that position down for the majority of the year. So you should be very happy for himself with his position and with his ability to make that position his own for the Chicago Bulls. He actually played 65 games for the Chicago Bulls this year. One of the more durable players on the team this year as well. With the way that he plays defense, it's very good to see. He averaged 7.2 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 0.9 assists, shooting 54% from the field and 35% from the three-point line. So those numbers are very good for a player that in the previous season only averaged 2.6 points for the Chicago Bulls. This is by far in his, I guess, multiple years in the NBA. This is by far his best for uh, his NBA career. And to be honest, I don't think many people expected that out of Javante Green. I honestly don't. I think from the preseason, I remember a lot of people saying Javante Green should get an opportunity to start from how good he was in the in the preseason for the Chicago Bulls. But if you're asking me, or if you're telling me the last year you foreseen Javante Green starting a power forward for the majority of the games that he played, while also averaging 7.2 points and four rebounds on a very good defensive display as well, not many people would have agreed with you. Not many people would have seen the vision that you saw. So if you foresaw that, congratulations. No one will probably believe you. But if you really believe that Javante Green was going to have this type of season, I can, I can applaud you for that. And at the end of the day, what I saw from Javante Green is something that makes me smile because we brought in a lot of talented guys in my eyes, a lot of guys that we could have put in Javante Green's position earlier on in the year. But I can almost guarantee you those talented guys did not do as much as Javante Green did for the Chicago Bulls this year. His constant movement, his ability to crash the boards with an intensity that is almost unmatched for many other guys. His athleticism, very, very good. And he had one of the higher percentages from the three-point line from the guys that you can compare him to. And the guys that you compare him to are guys like a Troy Brand Jr., are guys like a Derek Jones Jr., guys like Patrick Williams as well. Those are the type of guys that you compare with Javante Green because those most likely are going to be the guys that at the end of the day, with all the questions said and done, those are the guys that are probably going to play in his position as well. He's done a fantastic job in my opinion and none of that should be ignored for the Chicago Bulls. So he's had a great season, great defensive displays, great transition play as well, great off-ball cuts. He's one of those guys where I constantly praise his movement for the Chicago Bulls. Probably the biggest thing out of his game outside of his uh, defense. His defense was very strong for this team as well. And as I said before, extremely underrated. And there's another reason why I call Javante Green underrated, ladies and gentlemen. And that is his contract situation for the Chicago Bulls. At the end of the day, this guy is only here for the Chicago Bulls. The last This season, he actually made $1.6 million for the Chicago Bulls. I think that's the lowest contract we have on the team for a guy that was stuck starting most of those games. It's absolutely phenomenal. And then next year, he's only going to get paid $1.8 million. He's guaranteed to be here next year for the Chicago Bulls before he becomes an unrestricted free agent and almost guarantees himself much more money in free agency. That's how good he has been 
as much as he's underrated around fans around the league, I can guarantee you those teams that watch Javante Green when we verse, when they verse the Chicago Bulls, will have their eye on Javante Green. That's how talented, in my opinion, he has been for this team. And many teams will have their eyes open for someone they can get for relatively cheap and also will give you a lot of effort, 110% effort, and he can do a lot of things on the court for us as well. He can play a position undersized. He can make a three-point shot if he's wide open. He can get rebounds and he can compete with some of the bigger guys in the NBA. He's a nuisance on the defensive end. He's one of those guys that has a unique attitude about him, a unique presence about him, where it looks like he's always having fun on the court. It looks like he's always kind of joking around, but at the same time, he's dead serious on the court as well. So he's a really good player in my opinion, and the Chicago Bulls team has done a fantastic job in allowing him an opportunity to play significant minutes. I think Billy Donovan deserves a lot of praise for trusting him in Javante Green very early on from the season. And I also think that Javante Green deserves so much presence for making a name, deserves so much respect, I should say, for making a name for himself and being a presence on the court when we do play. He's done absolutely good in terms of production, and I can't wait to see him play for the Chicago Bulls next season. Without a shadow of a doubt, probably one of the more exciting players that we'll be seeing next year for the Chicago Bulls once again. He suits this small ball lineup a lot. And if that's how we're going to go in the direction that we go next season, we're going to use that small ball lineup once again. He's going to be a player that will also be used in that vein as well. But even if we go with a bigger lineup, just because Javante Green maybe plays a small forward or a shooting guard position for the Chicago Bulls going forward, if we do add a little bit of size, doesn't mean that his key contributions, his key attributes won't be missed. At the end of the day, Shooting guards, point guards, any position can learn how to play off ball, can learn how to make off ball cuts, can crash the glass and still compete ath with, uh, athletically with anybody. So just because he played the powerful position in my eyes doesn't mean that he can't play a shooting guard position or a small forward position for the Chicago Bulls because he could still be that exact same player on the court with this team. So... I'm very, very excited for Javante Green, and that is why he's underrated for the Chicago Bulls team, and he's the most underrated player in my eyes on this team. You look at a guy like Lonzo, you could say he's underrated, but at the end of the day, he got paid a lot of money from the Chicago Bulls team, one of the best players on the team. I wouldn't classify him as underrated compared to Javante Green. And I think Alex Cruz is another one you could put into that fray as a very underrated player, considering we got him on the contract that we did, and he impressed the way that he did. But in my opinion, no one absolutely no one has been more underrated than Javante Green a hidden gem in every sense of the word and I'm very very proud that he's going to be on this team next year and I think compared to other guys on this team that we're talking about potentially keeping he deserves to be on this team a little bit more than some of those guys with the work he's put in this year sometimes as I always say you can have talent but talent won't always succeed if you don't work hard and in my opinion, when Javante Green is on the court, he's one of the hardest working players that you will have on a team. And sometimes hard work gets you minutes more than your talent. Is Javante Green the most talented player in the world? I may be praising him like he is, but the answer is no. He's not more talented than guys like DeMar. He's not more talented than guys like Avusevic or Zach Levine. But if you're talking about who works harder... I could guarantee you he's in that conversation with guys like Vucevic, with guys like Levine, with guys like DeRozan, with guys like Lonzo. Those guys that are the key contributors, the core uh, players on this team. I can almost guarantee you Javante Green is in the conversation of working harder than all of them with the Chicago Bulls team. So he deserves a lot of respect for that. And that's my video about Javante Green's end of the season review. Very, very good for the Chicago Bulls. One of the best players on this team, personally, in my eyes. And he may not have that starting position next year. Patrick Williams remains healthy, but I can still almost assure that he will make that impact. And I'll be very proud of him, regardless of what he did and what he does next season. We'll always have this season to look on for Javante Green and say, man, that guy's an underrated player with the Chicago Bulls team. We'll wait and see what his long-term future is as well. As an unrestricted free agent at 30 years old, it's still going to be a priority for the Chicago Bulls, in my opinion, to keep Javante Green. But again, it all depends on the pay that he wants. At the end of the day, he's a great hustle player, very hard-working player. But that pay rise will be, a, obviously, a conversation point for the Chicago Bulls. And I'm not sure if it's one that will end up, I guess, accepting or one that we'll have to move on from. Let's wait and see. Let me know in the comments below what you, what you think about that as well. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more.
Take care.